Welcome to the Tinnitus and Hyperacusis Clinic. Hyperacusis is intolerance to everyday sounds in a way that it causes significant distress uh, in the life of the person who experienced this and interrupts their day-to-day activities, their impact on their occupation, recreation activities and general quality of life. So for, for majority of people with hyperacusis, and there is no other underlying medical cause. Some other patients, they may have some, uh, some medical conditions that uh, cause hyperacusis. That is why it is very important uh, to see an ENT, an audiologist, who can uh, check their ears and assess their auditory system and advise them. Uh, if hyperacusis causes stress and impacts on the person's life, and uh, then the therapy can help them to, to minimise the impact of the uh, condition. Hyperacusis usually affects both ears, but Dr. Arsh's pioneering research shows that 13% of patients may experience hyperacusis in only one ear. Special considerations are taken for these patients in Dr. Arsh's clinic. A 2018 study by Hashir and Brian showed that audiologists delivered CBT showed significant improvements in 68 patients. have to first explore what are the uh, what is the mechanism that leads to developing anxiety and annoyance when they hear the troublesome sounds and then help them to modify that once people no longer are, are anxious about noises that they hear then they actually providing this opportunity for their auditory system to recalibrate itself and not to focus on those noises and uh, many people who undergone therapy for hyperacusis in, in my clinic uh, they, they no longer are affected by the noises that they, uh, they, they hear in day-to-day um, activities that they have. Over the last 15 years, Dr. Hashir Aj has developed and managed several NHS tinnitus and hyperacusis services in London and Surrey. He has written over 25 scientific papers in the field of audiology. His research has influenced British guidelines for hearing assessment, oral rehabilitation and forensic neuropsychology. In 2009, he was awarded the Josh Miller Shield from the British Society of Audiology. 